George's Church. And just beyond that, we have, if, I'd like to very strongly recommend getting your hair done here because I excellent service from a hairdresser. I have never had such good service from a hairdresser in my life. And so there you are, Frizia, Damsk Omensky, Gabriella. Really, very, very good. Highly recommend it. I've got maps of Cheshire from the 19th century and this street is marked very clearly on it and this is part of the uh, older parts, one of the older parts of the town and I shall be going to the old town a little later. Now, if you continue up this street here, you've got the Jewish cemetery, it's in two parts. An old part and a new part. Very interesting, I've done photographs, but I won't be filming it now. The reason is, I've got short trousers and sandals on. It's not because I'm sort of religious or something like that. It's because it's all overgrown, full of nettles, and I don't want to get stung. which produces biscuits, wafers, for example, Prince Polo, which I've actually seen in other countries, not just in Poland, but also in the, Ch and in the Czech Republic, but also in the UK and in Italy. And uh, I'm sure they export to other countries as well. Now part of the Mondela group. got retail center there's Loire Merlin which is a DIY store it's really big and there's an enormous castorama on the outskirts of the town so there's plenty of scope for DIY here also in the retail area there's Kaufland Kaufland's a German retail chain to get the fuel prices in this is the end of June 2016 426 for diesel is roughly 90 five euro cents. So there's the choice at the roundabout straight ahead to Ustron, Bielska Biawa Katowice, we've got a motorway there, to the left but we'll be heading towards the centre. So there's the railway station in Cheshire. It's also the place where you get the bus here if needed. And stat oil. So if you want if you have gas, it's roughly what just under 40 cents, euro cents that is, uh, a litre. I use gas for the cooking in my, my vehicle and I'd like to say about Stato we just went past they're extremely helpful to me when I was trying to fill up with water and they didn't have a tap but they offered to actually fill, fill my tank up for me now a hundred litre plus tank anyway I said I'll just take six litres I didn't want to put them out but they very kindly offered to do it for me
this is the taxi stop and in front of me is the main square the market square and I've got quite a few photographs of this from before the First World War so I'll have them on my site as well got two different times you can take your picture of the clocks at 3 o'clock and that one says 25 past 1 so it can be whatever time you fancy the same as it was in the photographs I have from the 19th century. Honestly, I have these photographs, so that actually means that I've got them in digital format. It doesn't mean to say that I actually own them. Now, in Cheshire, there's a local food which is called the Cheshire Sandwich, Kanapka Cheshinska. And it's okay, it's bread with a bit of fish and other things on it, but it is outstandingly good. And it's actually made the previous day and it's kept in a, a lower temp, which I don't quite know how it's done, but it is outstanding. So, definitely worth trying one of those and it's I believe only made in either one place or two places there's not many shops which I can sell them either so this is the Kanapka Cheshinska and I don't know how it's done but as you can see it has um, herring and sauerkraut egg and probably butter as well and it appears to be parsley and it's outstanding. This costs 330, which is approximately 75 cents, something like that. So this is Ulitsa Gwembotska, which looks the same day as it did 100 years ago. So the street on the right, which I'm going down now, it's called Three Brothers Street, Old Cobbles, and there's the bin men, and on the left we will see a spring. But the reason this street is called Three Brothers Street is because of this spring which dates back to the year 810 when allegedly three brothers who were the sons of a king came here they found the fountain they'd been off on a crusade or a pilgrimage or something like that and finding this well they decided they liked the place so much that they were going to stay here so there you've got the description in Polish and in Latin. In Polish it does throw an element of doubt into the story by saying Viaro Podobne, which means um, according to legend, but the same word is not used in Latin. Now, once upon a time there was a mill here from the 15th century, but it uh, burned down around 17th or 18th century, something like that. Now, okay, maybe it's not quite the same as Venice, but the little canal and these attractive houses is very pleasant. Unfortunately, the River Olza is known to flood from time to time. We have, there's a monument on one of the bridges to people who were killed trying to uh, stop the flood or to hinder it. I think the bridge collapsed. And this is a risk for people living around here. Now, this 
canal, I believe, is actually man-made. It was made in the Middle Ages, and this was the industrial zone, so to speak, of the times you'd have the, the millers, the cobblers, the potters, these this type of people. They were here, they were able to make use of the water for their own purposes. So it became uh, a bit of an industrial zone in its own right. Some of these buildings on the left are for sale. Some of them, like this one, are in sad need of repair. Whereas the next building, which is a pub, which is offering uh, Euro 2016 on the telly, fortunately it's a bit small, so it wouldn't get many people in there, but it's been very nicely done up. And it's a great location as well. Now, what you can do is you can follow the water course all the way back to where the campsite is, if you so desire. Now, I've shown a little bit of uh, Cheshire. I think I really like this place. I've been here now for a month. I only meant to come for a few days. And I think it's outstanding place, not only because of the, the town itself, and you can see the town, I suppose, in a couple of days, but also because of the countryside around it. And you've got the, the Beskidi Mountains. I was out on a bicycle there yesterday, and uh, really very, very pleasant. Uh, wonderful countryside. Uh, great for cycling. Okay, you have to be a little bit fit. But it's the, the two cultures, it's like walking across a bridge with no customs barriers, no nothing. You've got a different language, different money, different food. I think it's a really very interesting place to be. So you can see the tower from the Holzer River. Can't see the castle tower from inside the castle, so you have to come here to see it. Next to it is the chimney. But we need industry to give us all the wonderful things we've got. And so, this is me in Cheshire signing off. Music